Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today's video, I wanted to talk to the tall ladies about embracing your personal style. Listen, with tons of brands not catering to us, we have to figure out a way to still be stylish, if that's your thing. If you're not a girl who's into like fashion or any fashion content, then this may not be the video for you. But if you are a girl who's trying to elevate in her style, figure out what her personal style is while not getting caught up in what everybody else is doing because we can't, this is the video for you. First I wanna say is embracing your personal style as a tall girl can be a challenge as most brands don't cater to us and trying to find things to fit our frame is like a needle in a haystack, okay? We have more and more tall girl brands coming out. However, they don't have a ton of stuff. This can be budget, this can be um, they can't find the items, whatever it is, they don't have a ton of stylish pieces, which is why I always say I make regular brands work for me, and you should too. So that's the first thing, you wanna embrace your personal style. A lot of influencers and fashion girlies may not be tall. I recently, I don't know what happened on Instagram, but may I may have used the hashtag or something, but all of a sudden, I'm seeing all of the tall girls and I'm like, oh my God, where have they have never seen that before? Usually like in the suggested area, I'm starting to see like a ton of tall girls. So I'm following them of course and then I'm going to their friends and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's a bunch of tall girls. And all of the girls look really nice. They figured out a way to be stylish regardless of their height. And when I say tall, I mean like, I'm gonna say like five nine and up because I know there are girls who are five nine who struggle with finding things solely because they may have a, a shorter torso and longer legs as uh, as opposed to it being balanced. If it's balanced, they may not struggle because a lot of brands do carry a size 33 or 34 inseam and that works well for them, but other times it doesn't. Embracing your personal style is the first thing I would say when it comes to trying to come into your own style as a tall woman. Listen, it's hard, trust me, it's hard. Number two, if you live in a state where fashion is not like a thing out there, you're probably going to be even more frustrated because you're going to have less things to choose from. As a girl who grew up in New York City, I had a ton of stores. So struggling to find things wasn't really a thing. I knew off the back that I had to find me a tailor at a very young age. Once I did that, I knew for sure that I wouldn't have a problem. Even if I had to buy two of the same item so that my tailor can kind of chop, chop, chop and make it into one. I just kind of got accustomed to it and it really didn't bother me much. However, moving to Atlanta, you may think, oh, it's a ton of stuff out there. It's not. We have some malls here, we have some small boutiques, but it's really not the same. And if you are a girl who doesn't solely buy only designer clothes, you're gonna struggle. Buying designer clothes just because it's the designer doesn't mean that you are the flyest person in the room. It doesn't mean that. It just means that you have money to buy things that are luxury. <laughs> because I have seen a ton of girls who don't wear like branded clothes and they look really, really nice. And this is for all types of women, regardless if they are plus size, petite, or even tall. I have seen it. So that's that's the other thing. They have a ton of luxury brands, but then also luxury brands don't always cater, well they don't, to tall women. And to be quite honest, a lot of even average height girls may complain about stuff not fitting them as well because the stuff is made smaller inside. When you are embracing your style, you want to be able to have a variety of places that you can go. So if you live in a state where you don't have certain stores, use online shopping, do some research, use Pinterest, get creative, and again, find you a tailor. That is going to be your best friend. I don't know how many times I can say this. A tailor is your best friend. Whether it's your jeans, you're going to feel a total difference. Because here's the thing, as tall women, even if we did find a pair of jeans that fit our frame, it may be really big around the waist because the legs fit. And in that case, a belt's not gonna help you, a tailor is gonna help you. You may not wanna always wear a belt, so you have to 
go to a tailor, get them to chop up the waist, get that nice and fit, and then you're good. Those are some key things that I like to tell women as a tall girl who's always shopped a lot. <laughs> I've always had a tailor. The third thing you want to do to embrace your style is to pull some inspiration from some places. Inspiration is just to inspire you, not for you to copy paste. When you copy paste something, you're most likely not going to like the way something fits on you. Here's an example. Um, I might have said this before. I think she's 5'4". What's her name? I'm, I have a blank. Janae. Hi, Low Lux. I think I believe she's five four, maybe five five. But I know she's not over five seven. So if you watch her videos and you pull inspiration from her, that's beautiful. You can pull inspiration, but you can't necessarily get exactly what she wears because she's shorter than us, right? And the clothes may not fit us the same. If she has on a mini, it's going to be extremely midi on us. So you can probably get a midi and have your tailor cut it to the appropriate size for a tall woman. I hope that makes sense, guys. You want to pull inspiration from girls like her or whoever else you like their style, uh, maybe even Monroe. Uh, I'm naming some of the girls that popped ahead, politics and fashion. Um, what's the other girl's name? I like her. Oh my God, I can't think of her name. She's considered a plus size um, influencer. That is gonna, I'm gonna be so mad because I can't think of it. Um, but think, watch girls like that. There's other girls from other countries that you can watch that may be your size. Figure out where they shop at, but you want to be able to embrace your style by pulling inspiration from places that suit you. You copy and paste, you're essentially pulling somebody else's style in and you may not like it on you. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so go to Pinterest, Google, look at fashion shows, look in fashion magazines vogue has really nice fashion magazines they have a like a collection book that i like to get every year or every season and you can see everything that's coming in sometimes i'm like oh no and sometimes i'm like oh yeah i like this so now as a tall girl i have to now go out there and try to find these pieces similar to those because 99% of the times it's not gonna fit my frame as a tall girl so I have to find something similar be creative figure out where you need to shop pull the inspiration and kind of go from there the fourth thing you want to do is you want to choose brands that have great quality listen embracing your style is a full-on circle guys quality is your best friend you don't want to always buy something from a high street brand and it's not great quality Zara is a hit or miss for us tall girls occasionally they'll have some jeans that are like the full-length jeans that are actually long and I think I've said this before if you read the description it does say extra long they don't give you the inseam so you just have to kind of like Grab it up and just kind of see where it goes from there. I got lucky probably three times with them. I mean like long, long pants. Um, shoot, maybe four times. One, I just got them too big and I wish I had got them slightly smaller because I got them tailored and it just was like too much she had to take and I really didn't like it. So do some research on these brands and get the best quality for your budget. That way you're not buying things that are gonna be a waste the next season. So for me, I'm always gonna talk about quality first, regardless of where you get the item from, whether it is from Zara or uh, maybe Aritzia. Aritzia, a lot of girls like them, but everything is not great quality. Their tank tops are top tier. Like, they're really good. And I think that's why they charge that money for them. <laughs> they're really, really nice. And the quality is great. I think they're like 70 something bucks, but something like those, they're knit, but you want to put something like those in the dry cleaners because you paid money for it and you don't want it to shrink or anything like that by just washing it. Those are great quality pieces. Always go for quality over quantity when trying to embrace your style. It also helps when getting dressed. It makes you look more leveled up as opposed to wearing something that is a lot cheaper where the seams are messed up 
And it's not to say that some of these high-end brands don't screw up on their clothes because they do. I have purchased shoes where I'm like, okay, this needs to go back. Or even jackets and stuff. Um, just because it's a higher luxury brand doesn't mean that it is the best quality. So always look at that when buying anything from any type of store or any designer. The fifth thing I would say to embrace your style and to fully own it is to step out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to try something new. And I'm not saying go out there and wear something that you just know it's just not your style. Don't do that. If you wanted to try maybe a skirt with ruffles <laughs> and you're scared because you feel like maybe you're older and you don't want to wear ruffles, try it out. Go for like maybe a two-tier skirt as opposed to something that has like five layers, right? If you want to try something that has um, polka dots, maybe not get a full polka dot dress. Maybe go for like a pair of shoes or a pair of uh, maybe a blazer or something. Maybe not a full-on dress, but something to wear. You're like, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna give it a go this way. So stepping out of your comfort zone also helps you discover brands that you've never tried before. Now I'm from New York. I haven't seen every brand possible, but there are some brands I'm like, well, who is this person? It could even be a smaller boutique or it can possibly be a brand that's just new and I just haven't heard of them. Or the brand is just so high in price that my eyes ain't even dark over there. But always, 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 always try new brands. You never know what you find with these brands. Trust me, I've said this before when it comes to shoes, a lot of higher brands do go up to like a size 12, 42 or whatever. A lot of the high street brands and like lower, I'm not gonna say lower, but least expensive brands, they don't. And when they do, they only get like one or two pairs. So those are some of the things that I would always recommend women do who are tall to embrace their personal style. Don't get frustrated. That's like my final thing. Don't get frustrated if you can't find stuff. Follow girls who are tall. They're out there, it's not a ton of us, but they're there, okay? They're there. According to the American standard, being tall, I think they say five nine, five seven and up, but if you're five seven to five nine and struggling to find pants, then you need to do a little bit more research because there are a ton of places that do carry long inseams. Now you may have longer arms and that may be difficult, but when it comes to your pants, there's a ton of places that you could actually shop. I hope that helps you girls who are trying to embrace their own personal style in 2024, especially spring is around the corner. Well, summer is around the corner. And if you want to start getting your things, start getting them now. You guys already know I always say we have to get on it a little bit earlier than a lot of the other girls because things go fast in our size. Same thing with sneakers and shoes, right? If you have a larger foot or if you have an average size foot, that size goes really fast. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Embrace your personal style. Don't mirror somebody else's style. Pull inspiration from whoever you feel like you can pull inspiration from. And trust me, you'll be golden when it comes to creating outfits every day and getting dressed. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY for my personal style services. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.